Hey guys, snow day here. So I thought I'd do a bit of a tip of a day at home. One of the great things about pool and improving in the pool, in your pool journey is that you don't necessarily need to be at a pool table. There's a lot of things, tr tricks that you can learn just by, by either talking to people, observing. So one of the things I, I wanna talk about is a conversation I have with a lot of up and coming players. I hear this a lot and in my opinion, it's, one of if not the most common made mistake by players that want to improve it's they always say i love playing better players i you know the better players i play the better i'm gonna get and pool is not quite like that of all the sports you see with pool you don't necessarily get the same amount of playing time for starters so for example in in golf you're going to get your 18 holes, your, your strokes in no matter what, and then you can judge it. In pool, if you're playing someone that's much better than you or they're monopolizing the table time, you're not getting to put yourself, you're not making the mistakes that you can learn from. You're not putting yourself in a position that you can fail forward or succeed. But, but for, for the biggest thing that I would tell people is if you want to improve, Let's say, for example, you're an 80 TRS and you're an 8. Well, play as many 80s, maybe 75s or 70s as you can. Play in as many tournaments, as many things as you can, so that you can learn from your mistakes. But here's the key. Once, if you are playing players that are much better from you and there's no competitive matches, like regularly, for example, let's say you join a gold tournament because you want the experience. Well, if you're always out too straight, and you got creamed in those in those matches are you really learning from this experience meaning you didn't how often did you get to the eight ball if you play in an 80s tournament and you win a few matches then you are playing in the final 16 and you miss an eight ball or you miss shape that is stuff that you can let marinate with you so that you can learn from it the next time it happens if you win three matches and then lose a heartbreaker yes that sounds like a failure but the truth is it's a you're failing forward the best way to learn and it's a cliche but it's so true it's the next time you're there okay did i overcut the eight ball did I get nervous? Do I need to steady my bridge? Do I need to walk around the table one more time? But constantly putting yourself in those game winning or losing situations is what makes you better. So remember that just playing better players does not make you better. Putting yourself in as many tough situations makes you a better player, win or lose. If you make the winning eight ball, yes, there's a sense, Okay, now that's in the memory bank. So you remember, what did I do correct? So the last thing I'm gonna leave you with, and what I would recommend you do anytime you play pool, these are the two questions I want you to ask yourself. What did I do well? And what could I have done better? Or what can I do to improve? Those two questions, after every contest, every tournament, everything, you can, so I know some players that write those down. These are, by the way, these are two questions that, that are CEOs of billion dollar companies use that, those two questions. So this certainly applies for pool. It's what did I do? What did I do good today? And what can I do better? And you notice by the, what can I do better? It's not, you know, how did I screw up? And you're, it's a, it's a positive way of failing forward, right? What can I do better? Not what were all the mistakes I made? You're, you're, what can I do better it is, is a way of looking for opportunity, how to improve. So those, so I just wanted to leave you with that. That's a, a great way to approach tournaments and league night, whatever. You're always trying to get better. But remember, a big way to get better is, is not being afraid to fail. Fail, in theory, the real players that are constantly improving or that are constantly succeeding are the ones that it looks like they're succeeding because they're constantly putting themselves out there they fail all the time but they understand it's not about failing what it is it's learning it's every time that they play every time they put themselves out there they're they're taking that step forward so they're not looking at it as negative or positive just looking at it as another way they're building bricks they're building bricks 
for their foundation to get better. So I hope you learn from this. This is something that I've learned over the years. It's the mistakes I've seen, I've made, I've seen players make, but those are a couple of things. If you want to get better, you have to number one, play players that are a little better than you or around you. Once you start really seeing results there, that is a true gauge of your improvement. And also, you want to put yourself in as many competitive moments as possible and learn from them. Don't don't worry about failing. Learn from them. You keep those that type of philosophy in mind, you can't go wrong. And you will start to see yourself improving. Okay? So I hope this was helpful. That was tip of the day 72. And it was uh, from home. I'm going to start to do a little more of these type of things as well. Because I, I do believe you don't always... There's a lot of value to not necessarily having to go out and practice right on the pool table. So there's a lot of a mental side of pool that you can immediately start applying things and actually improve overnight. So I think these are important as well. Uh, so I'm going to call that tip of the day 72. And that is how to really improve. Okay, thanks. And I'll see you guys for tip of the day 73.